Ladies and gentlemen, he was making Ghana laugh when I was wearing diapers and drinking lactogen. It's the legendary KSM. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the self-proclaimed king of prime time, officially the youngest old man in Ghana, the man who says old age is an option, the man who says he's got swag in his jeans. The man is here today. Sit back, kick up your feet, chillax, and get ready for GH sizzling prime time show. Now, GH, put your hands together and show some love for the alleged king of prime time, KSM. The KSM Show. Hello, well, we're back, we're back, we're back, and uh, and uh, listen, folks. Um, Nanaru says now you are free. There's no more lockdown. But in in, in all sincerity, please advise yourself, right? Because the 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 kolo no no kolo. So I'll call you a friend of Corona. <laughs> Still lurking around, you know. So please, as much as possible, now you have the freedom to at least leave your homes and go and do essential things. But by all means, stay home when you have to and, and, and avoid crowds because we are still, still, still very much in the era of active guru. Mm -hmm. But today, today, anyway, by the way, Obika just in between you know, it looks like I have a small afro. You can't blame me, man. The lockdown. So. <laughs> I couldn't go to my Baba, my Baba couldn't come to me, so I just slight Afro. No? So let's see what happens, man. If you like the Afro, just show some love, man. <laughs> anyway, anyway, um, my guest today, very, very, very outstanding guest, man. One of my, my friend said, man, one of my children, you know, I have children all over the place now, and they are doing fascinating things, man. This guy, he started, we'll be talking about how he started, but right now, he is like the editor for the whole Despite group of, uh, the whole Despite media, you know. So we're talking about uh, Peace FM, UTV, uh, Need, okay, the whole lot. He's the entertainment editor. Apart from that, too, he's done some uh, journalism. He is just amazing guy. If you want the filler on entertainment, it's this guy, man. So let us welcome him right now. Put your hands together. Show some love for my man, Eugene Osafo in Kansa. <laughs> hey, my man, my man. <laughs> Oh, I wish I could shake your hand. Oh, like so you like, like. oh, we can do that. <laughs> oh, the one more. <laughs> oh, welcome to the show, man. Finally. Finally? <laughs> that is my dream come true. Oh, wow. And this is the biggest achievement in my career. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. no, no, no. Um, the bigger yeah, ones are there. We'll be talking about them. Okay, okay. We'll get to them. But uh, we're going to pause for the call. So when we come back, Eugene is in the house. Today we are talking entertainment. We are talking about so many things. Stick around. We'll be right back. The KSM Show. KSM Show. Hi, so my name is Kobe Chia. I'm a blogger in Ghana, influencer, and of course, social media is where I sleep, and I'm on KSM Show. God bless you guys. Hey, back, hey, back, hey, back, and I have in the house my main man, Eugene. Welcome to the show, man. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, man, it's good to have you here. And when I said that, Daddy, I was feeling like Shatawale. He <laughs> <laughs> calls everybody Daddy. Everybody's Daddy. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you. I'm, I'm humbled. I mean, I've been, 
I've been waiting for this moment all my life. Really? Yeah, then yeah, it's yeah. me, me, me. I, I took too long to reach you, man. Oh, because we overdue. Uh, we people, overdue. People like us, that's how it is. Uh, all the you're stuff. always in the background, but producing. Okay, let, 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 let me start where I want to start. You know. okay. First of all, congrats. You've done thank a you. lot thank for you. entertainment in Ghana. Thank you. Thank you. And, and before I even start getting into it, mm -hmm. you know how Yenua Kuro, yeah. Kuro has come to unsettle everything. Um, what's the kind of impact you have felt it is making in the entertainment uh, oh, area? The, the impact is very negative. It's, it's, I mean, sometimes I watch my, you know, we feed on them. If I say we feed on them, the bloggers, the journalists, yeah. radio presenters, producers, they are those we use, even you, you I mean, they are the, those we use for content. But now when you need them for interview, they can't even come. Mm -hmm. um, events that comes around, some, some of them pay us to block for them, they pay the stars to perform, mm -hmm. everything is shut down. So, mm -hmm. I mean, it's affecting everybody. It's affecting music producers, the musicians themselves, journalists, radio presenters, everybody, every part of uh, entertainment industry yeah. is, is, has been yeah. affected. So, it's affecting us, the packets, emotionally, financially, everything, everything. It's, it's bad. I pray a end soon, because Nkoye. Oh, they're Nkoye, Nkoye. Nkoye, 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 because if this doesn't end, man, yeah. it is shutting down everything slowly, yeah. 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 you yeah. know. Um, but you being in entertainment now, mm -hmm. let me take it from that point of view. What do you see? If, if once we get past uh, Corona, how, how do you see the entertainment thing coming back up? I think a lot of things will change. It will be. Um, it will take time for people to come back into their mm. excitement mood. Mm. People are not even sure because uh, quite a month for sure say cool. I mean, <laughs> in the first week, yeah, people will come out because of the excitement. Finally, they say we should go to events. Whoever will do the first events will get a lot of crowd, but after that, it may go down again because people are scared. People, um, and you know. Just when people are be were becoming used to the fact that they, they are staying home, President lifted the, the <laughs> lockdown. <laughs> so people are getting used to staying home now. They were complaining before. They didn't know how they were going to feel staying yeah. home for two weeks, three weeks. Yeah. But they were, they they were adjusting to, yeah, to it. And then people are doing virtual concerts. When you go on social media, people are doing live interviews on YouTube, uh, Facebook, Instagram, everywhere people are doing using social media. So I think that a lot of things will change. Um... Some of the musicians would have to fight harder to get their fans back, especially mm. those who are not mm. um, on social media. Okay. People on okay. social media okay. are keeping okay. their fans busy. They are engaging them. They are doing live. People are even giving, doing giveaways. People are sending momos. They are keeping relevance. They are, they are making on, their on fans know that they are still now. there. Yeah. So those who are not can be yeah. really affected. Because yeah. when, they, they when everything is back, they yeah. will be like, they, they will be like missing in action. Yeah, it will affect them. Because now, if we don't hear from you from social media, it's either you are sleeping with it means nothing is happening to you so it will affect people and then right now radio stations and tv stations and media houses were forced to change their style of content and i mean people are doing album reviews now on their shows when they didn't even used to play singles mm, for mm. other people so a lot of things will change and mm. um, some people also start taking things serious people will start being innovative because i mean they said when when, when there's the necessity brings innovation yeah, so yes yeah. when people are in dire need of stuff they they have to start yeah they start thinking of how differently they can do it and all so it won't be the same it will take mm -hmm. time for us to mm -hmm. come back to where mm -hmm. it is before the mm -hmm. corona came mm -hmm. but you being a blogger mm -hmm. you know and an outstanding one at that hey, you sir, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. you won some serious awards oh, Just, yeah yeah Just last year i won the best blogger of the year mm -hmm. at uh, ghana entertainment award in, uh, in new york Wow. Yes. In New York? Yeah. Just a lot, man. Just a lot. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I won a couple of awards. Um, mm -hmm. I think I won the City People Awards in 2016, yes. thereabouts. And then I won Ghana Events Awards for the best event blogger. And then Radio Southern, there are more entertainment you We need RTP. Mm -hmm. You've so, you been so active in entertainment. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And it was it was quite interesting because I was reading more about you okay. when when I decided to host you. Then I said, "Hey, so he did this, he did that." Because I was listening to uh, was that uh, the program on gold on uh, uh, countdown, Solid gold countdown. Yeah, and I didn't realize you were behind it. Yeah, I've been it for prime my, yeah, yeah. 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 
Wow. I, was a, I was a producer for it. Prime. I was the host. Mm -hmm. And we had the likes of James. So Jenny Mbwati, who yes. is into politics now. Yes. BB Manson, the virus. Yes. And uh, a Liberian presenter, Dara Ambusma, was also on uh, that. Yes. So yes. I, I think the entertainment review on radio, that was where it started. Mm -hmm. yeah, it was very strong. I mean, what's mm -hmm. him and one, you yeah, yeah, we'll <laughs> yeah. So that was, it started there. So you created that show there? No, it was there. Prime I created it. Oh, Prime I created it. Okay. I came on Just board to come and produce yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So mm. I got most of my experiences from there, and then I took it up from there. Mm -hmm. Continue mm -hmm. from there. So, yes, I was part of Radio Gold. And the fascinating thing for me, or the inspiring thing for me, is that you are not a trained entertainment journalist or no, anything no, journalist no, no, at no, all. No, no. I mean, I, I, I don't know how you found out, but I've never. I have not entered any journalism. I don't have any certificate for journalism. I mean, wow. I'm not happy about it. I'm not bragging about it. But I had to. There was no money. KSM. There was no money. Family was not ready. My dad was like, SS in the year, no, 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 no. University, no forget it. Wow. So I had to find my own way. way. Actually, you know Fenekotri? Yeah. Quite a sis for yes, 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 yes. I have to be talking about that, yes. that later. He was my, very tight with him, right? That was my best friend. Mm. Yes. So he was attending a journalism school. I think it was called Trans African College, somewhere in Circle. So I follow him, we go and eat, and I follow him to sit in his class. You follow him to the classroom? I didn't pay school fees. Uh, they had, they had then, then it, is he a you? How the teachers knew me? Did they basically think you were a student or they just you said? Uh, I, I, think so. I think so. And then <laughs> I go and sit down, we, uh, we go through lectures, we close, we chat, everything, but graduation, mama, because I'm in council. Okay, school, no. uh -huh. But you, you like your stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I learned the, the ethics of journalism, what you should do when you get a story you have to check check and double check again wow. the who's the when the which and all the relevant things i was supposed to know and i read on the internet as well i spoke to a lot of people like yourself like people who have experienced kkd and then they, they taught me a lot i believe in um, practicality i mm -hmm. mean theory mm -hmm. is good when you sit in class and mm -hmm. you learn but i i i'm one of the few people who learned on the job from day one wow yes so, so you I, just went and sat in the classroom and you were just a part of it. Yeah, yeah. People who know me, I'm sure when they watch this, they will go like, ah, so this guy. <laughs> no, no, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> so that's where I started from because I, I, I was, see. Yes, I remember in my childhood when they asked me, I, I go like, I want to be a journalist. But I didn't know how. Mm -hmm. I didn't know when. I didn't what was it about journalism that, that, uh, that you I like, found I, I like asking questions. Mm -hmm. And I like, um, I like to be on the other side. You know, when you're a journalist, a few times maybe I want some member. Yes. So I get to hide my side and I bring other people's side. So I like that part of it. Mm. I, I was intrigued by that. So mm. yes, that was what motivated me to do journalism. I, I used to watch people like uh, Christian Amampo on CNN, uh, Anderson Cooper and the likes. So yes, I got my motivation from different places. I see, yeah. I see. But I was interested in the behind the scenes more than mm. being in front of the screen. Mm. Yes. So you always wanted to be behind the scenes? Yes. Sort of. Yes. Really? Yeah. yeah. And I was, when I introduced you, I forgot to mention that uh, you are a massive blogger. Yes. And also with the Despite Global Companies, you are the entertainment editor for all of them. So if I'm breaking it down, basically, I do entertain. I mean, I'm the, I'm the go-to person when you come to Despite Group of Companies. Mm. Um, I am the entertainment editor for Peace FM Online, their website. Mm. And I produce entertainment review on Peace FM. I produce entertainment Ghana on Neat FM. Mm. And I, I produce a big Santana's Equine Jojo as well. I used to even have a segment on it, but as I said, I don't like coming in front. So you want to be the back. Yeah, I want to be the back. And so that's the trouble. I can be able to buy my Coco <laughs> and Kusi and all that. <laughs> yes, that's, that's you, know. yes, you can't do your usual stuff when you yeah. people know you. So yeah. yes, I, yeah. I enjoy being behind the scenes. Mm. Yeah, mm. So yeah, it's true. I know when you come to the Spide Group. And you mentioned entertainment. The first That's person you call yes. is me. Yes. 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 So, yes, yes. yes. so being, being that you are into entertainment, yeah, and that you are not doing in concert, yeah, it's, it's gossip. Yeah, gossip. Controversial things. Oh, not necessarily. So not necessarily. Not necessarily. <laughs> you want to go to the You want to go hospital. Then okay, you want Nelson? Yeah, 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 yeah. With yeah. That, uh, um, you want to talk? I didn't even talk. Okay, sir. You want Nelson? Um, you know there was this okay can be as any by there was this can be <laughs> meet and greet here by yeah some of the female celebrities were supposed to go to a meet and greet yeah and then uh, the likes of Lydia Forsen, Efia Odor, Moisha and the likes they went there and they couldn't see 
Cardi B. So there was this whole controversy about Adena mm. Mokuga and Nimo Asina and then and then there. So even though she went on her Twitter and she was trying to throw shit at her fellow celebrity, female celebrities. So her words were like, know your worth. Mm. Trying to sarcastically say they don't know their worth for going to Cardi uh, 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 meet and greet and they didn't see her and all that. So somebody also replied very strongly and said on Twitter that um, you too, if you know your worth, why would you give birth with somebody's husband? And then the person added something that I can't see on, on, on the platform. And I took even Nelson's uh, comments and the guy's reply and just posted it. Oh. My caption was like, if one else said only three words, that was my caption. And if one else go angry with me. Which was really? Yes. So I don't know if you think I did something wrong, but I do it to everybody. I mean, some people just tweeted that Waka America, Montpeni, in the border two days, three days now, Omra. I took it and I published it. You understand? So I don't know why one else got angry, but she got angry. And then my wife replied that. Um, if you want to talk about people, you should be ready for criticisms. You should be ready for replies that might not be favorable to so you. So your wife got into the act? Yes. Oh, that part I didn't hear. <laughs> <laughs> so that was where you were God. I mean, you know she was at our wedding. Yes, yes. She's yes. my friend. She's my wife's wife friend. friend. Yes. Yeah. So um, I was expecting her to call me and say, oh, Charlie, this one day. Because her argument is that I'm her friend. So if somebody is insulting her, and I post it. It's like endorsing the insults, okay. insults and then okay. also insulting, extending the insults. But my point is that if one else has like 10 times the followers I have on social media, you understand? So if you have put on your platform, which is bigger than mine, mine is a small uh, drop on in, your, in your ocean. So why would you get angry? So that was how come. So did you sort it out with her? Have you? I have to, for me, I don't have anything against her. I still mm. post her. I mean, I think I posted her like three days or four days ago. Okay. Yeah, okay. but she's blocked me on Instagram. <laughs> so, but she hasn't blocked me on what's happened to her. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I don't have any issue. My, my wife is cool with her. Yeah. I don't have any issue. I even spoke about it on radio that I don't have any issue with her. Okay. But anything she does, I'll still publish it, whether mm -hmm. she's happy or not. Mm. I mean, that's the only way you can keep your brand strong and you can also give information. Mm -hmm. on, on adulterated information. I don't mm -hmm. want to be biased because she's my friend. No, no. If she does good, I'll do it. If she, mm -hmm. Because I promoted her movie. Okay. So if there's something bad, why not okay. that one too as well? So that so was what both. Yes. <laughs> so one else was not too happy about it, but hey, it's part of the job. Uh, yes. Yeah. Being, being the blogger that you are and the kind of thing that you publish, what would somebody publish about you that will not make you happy at all? So, now where they, say, so they has, something that is not true. Something that's not yeah. true. So long as it's true, you don't care. I don't mind. Really? Because I don't understand why I should be throwing stones and not expect a stone thrown to be at thrown me. at you. Because I've been writing about people for almost 20 years yeah. now. Yeah. It doesn't make sense for me to sit down and be angry that somebody has written about me. I don't understand. Mm. But interestingly, that's the reality. People who bash people are not... Even also, for instance, even also speaks about politics. She did a whole world being so vigil against a certain government, which has over 4 million people, at least the, the, those people who voted for NBC, they have over 4 million. She campaigned against them, you understand? So if you are doing that, and you don't expect to be bashed, or you don't expect anything mm. negative about you, it doesn't make sense to mm. me. Mm. But unfortunately, that's how it is. I mean, I know radio presenters, we talk about people, but when people talk about them, they become angry. I'm not that kind of person. I mean, if it's not true, I'll different? be very angry. Mm. But even that, I will not say anything. Because it's already gone. What would I do? But this is everything true. you have you have put out true, everything you have done. Yes, as far as I'm concerned. Yes. As far really? as I'm concerned. Yeah. You as haven't had I'm the time to haven't had the occasion to exaggerate something or no exaggeration. Maybe sensationalism is the word. Sensational. Okay. Uh -huh. And, and that, that was allowed in journalism. That's <laughs> yes. So I don't exaggerate, but like for instance, I did a story in one of the newspapers that I wrote for that you remember, you know he did a rebranding. He said he was DL. He was not that in Lumba anymore. So they came to me and they're like, we want this thing to go very far. So I did a story and I was like, that Lumba is gone. I'm trying to let you feel that that Lumba was dead. And then yes. you read the story yes. and you realize that so it's just a name. Yes. That he's gone. Yes. Okay. So I mean, when you do understand it, you insult me and you go like, <laughs> but the story I came see. from that Lumba himself. And they even agreed on the headline before the headline went out mm, so mm. sensationalism yes i do but false story i don't mm, i don't mm, at all and mm. it's something that i'm deliberately doing because you know when you mention in concern 
it comes with negativity. So I'm using that to change that perception. Oh, okay. Yes. So I try to be very objective. I try to be very factual, even though I'm still doing a concern. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Do you pick your enemies? Like, for example, is there somebody who does something that is really not good, but you have a respect or some some attachment to the person that is who started with me? Yeah. Oh, I won't lie. I mean, there are stories that have come that I have I had contacts with people. The, okay. All the people are my friends. That um, when it comes, I'll call you. That Charlie say na But there are some. There are, you know, I'm very close to somebody like Ifia Shwasnika. She's my friend. Everybody knows that. And her issue with her husband. I had to. I had to do it. You did it. I did it. Of course, she's my friend. But everybody is doing it. People are on my platform waiting for information. Mm. I can't say because if you have your as my friend, I don't do it. And she understands. Mm. She understands. So well, you like, spoke with her, or she saw it. If you have your actually called me in his house, whilst her naked video was on people's phone, that same moment, I was in her house. She told me everything from A to Z, how it happened, where she, where she actually ran naked from her house to somebody's house in, on, in the same area. She told me, showed me pictures, videos, and everything. But I didn't publish it. I was just publishing the one that is already out mm, that everybody knows. Mm, yes. Mm. So um, I'll call you and I'll go like, if yeah, everybody is doing it. I didn't ask your husband to come and chase you with acid. <laughs> that thing is out. It's not my fault. Uh, but there are people on the concourse who are waiting for the information. Yeah. I can't say, I can't deprive them of that information because you are okay. my friend. Okay. So the advantage you have is that tell me your part of the story. I will do that part for people to know. But so I can't tell you someone Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I tell, I tell, I tell people. I mean, I've had issues with people um, at dinner, even if on Nelson. It's the same scenario. Because I feel sorry, Madame Fu. It will be a year and I am fine. I then I miss me quite a year. But it's you know, personal. It's, you know, my page is not a personal page. My page is not Eugene or Safun Cancer. My page is in concern. I am not in concern. It's mm -hmm. just a page. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because mm -hmm. if I'm supposed to put things that I like personally. Maybe I'll post you four times a day. Mm. Because I like you personally. Mm. But I'm not there to satisfy myself. I'm there to satisfy the readers. You okay. understand? So mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. um, I have, I've had issues with people, but I still stand my ground and let them know that. Mm. It's work. What is the most trouble you've had with people that, that actually hurt you that you know, it got to that point? Oh, I don't know if it's, it's that kind of psyche I've gotten, but nobody has really been able to get to me. Really? Really? No, no. I mean, I've, I've had encounters. I used to go on a show on GH1 called, I think, E-Talk or something, and they asked me about R2Bs. What do I think about them? I was like, oh, they are a superb group. I mean, I was playing their song in my car before I came. But I think they are not serious. They are, they are rough. They don't dress well. Blah, blah. I said my mind. No, no, they've heard it. They're not happy. <laughs> they're not happy. Yes. Yeah, so I'm going to graduate from the law school. And then he invited us to come and cover. We had a dinner with her at Golden Tulip. And then uh, Mugis, one of our two of these guys, came. I was like, Will you be in the talk TV, shit for TV top? Eh? <laughs> I will sound you. He was actually going to slap me. Really? Yes. And what happened? People held his hand. They spoke to him. What hey, he was issues? really angry. Yeah, he was. Yeah. And actually now, I mean, after several years, I met him somewhere in Aqua Safari. Several years after. I was standing there somewhere. Was, you be the guy. Eh? You be the talk. You be full say you be who. The same as you, <laughs> you know. So I get it. I mean, I, I did a story about Prince David Osei um, having, I mean, two time. And I mean, she had a kid with somebody, and she was dating another woman. It was true though, but she was. He was angry. I did a story. Mm. I met him at a colleague's wedding, and no, no, the seat I was sitting on was his. <laughs> oh, you have to say this. I see you. It's impossible. I don't know. It was like <laughs> so I was sitting and I was like, why are you going to sit my seat up? Come on for that. If you stand up there, 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 you was very angry. So, And you see, interesting thing about me is that you can hardly get a word out of me. Really? So when he comes around, you don't talk? I didn't say anything. No, 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 anything no, 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 at all. I don't say anything. That's a conscious thing you yeah, do about yeah, 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 yeah. Because I've done it my style in my area. Mm. It's in the Kanda. I feel like I'm No, 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 no. So um, I try to keep my cool. Oh, because there was all patrol. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, David, no, 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 David. I mean, I, I don't think I've really done anybody's story and backed the person before. Mm. No, 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 no. Mm. I mean, the moment I decide to do it, 
my emergency me here and I'm ready for everything that comes. Oh, so okay. yeah, if you don't do that, um because obi am madam for okay so. Oh yeah, madam for you are madam for John Dumel Obia and see Obia can say madam for your story now. Go on someone and then the metro. Peace of mind, one one some na You understand? So if you don't stand your ground and go like Charlie, I don't come to your house for the information. No. One or could do in question as some when I story in a bar. And it's never the same more opportunity to state your part of the, the your the, part the, of your, your story. Part. So we can say Oh, sorry, there, 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 there. So that's how it is. It's very interesting. Let me let me let me move this on because you are an entertainment editor for the despite yeah. you know media yeah. and also do con concern. Yeah. How do you juggle them both? Is it do you have to sometimes balance and say for which we did the back on concern and as in con concern? Yeah. And I say we need to make peace for an army. We make. How do you balance it? Because it could be very tricky. Maybe we make a so come chola. It's a miracle. I do it miraculously. I mean, I mean, I'm quite fast, you know, because um, wait for me, wait for me. And are you going to do more for somebody's job at the expense of your own? Mm. You know, it's it's difficult, but I try to balance it. Um, in between, so if I'm on radio and I produce and I put all my concentration on the production, because that is life. We make mistake, ah. And one, and so I hardly sometimes when I'm doing it and I see something, pan on my posty or honor, I said, Yes, still me and my dear. So it's, it's um, experience one, and then knowing what to do when, mm. and then um, trying to balance your time, manage your time well. See, boy, I'm sorry, I'm a pa. Name any boy, some in the two tongue, some the two fast, 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 and some of the juma. It's no, me the Google no more shah time, the man, no more check, I can't be at all. So and then there's no point that you feel you are competing, you know, what's the word? Conflict of interest. Conflict of yeah. interest. <laughs> oh. Because I have the corona and I'm doing all these platforms. And I know me and Mr. Media. For so, me, um, I don't see it like that. Okay. I don't know how my employers see it, but media, I'm going to say, um, concern is just social media. It's not really, and my website is very picky. On stories, I mean, but the book have one week crying. I'm here doing that because I want I want the website to be like a privilege to be on the website. Mm. So story, I'm like shame one, but I couldn't be here. I'm there too. There too. Ha. So but piece of online, sometimes I do 10, 15 stories a day. Mm. It's, you know, it's, it's not in any competition at mm. all. And Instagram cannot compete piece of online. Piece of online has millions of viewers. So I don't see the competition there. But obviously, I mean, say oh, you mean that's what for? Because you mean you mean or not so at the media. Sometimes, yes, complaints here and there. Yeah. I don't know where we are, then I want to find to her. I don't know. Yeah, it's there, but I try as much as I can. And you know, the target audience are different. Mm. PCFM mm. target one is different. PCFM online is different. Congo is different. So I try to, if I get one information, if I'm supposed to write about this, I'll write different thing about it on Congo. Okay. And it's different. Yes. So, mm. yes. Show some love, man. <laughs> if you are suffering in the house, we're going to take a commercial break. When we come back, we talk about plenty other things, like his wedding and his wedding. Mm. See, come on, we'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> SM show. Wanna me pay? I'm so glad you came my way. My tashri would do a day. And mama kuma bo me boom boom che boom boom. Hi guys, my name is Adina Fembi. Keep watching the KSM show. Stay tuned. Mwah. We're back, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back, and I have in the house my own son who's doing so well, man. He's an entertainment guru when it comes to, you know, and it's also the, the brain behind in Concorsa. We've had quite a bit of that now. He's also a married man now, and he had one of the spectacular weddings in the history of Ghana. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Eugene, how was your, how's your wife, by the way? She's doing well. She's, she's, doing, she's well. on lockdown. She's on lockdown. <laughs> She has let her down. Eh, you yeah, let her down. Literally, corona everything. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. corona Yeah. <laughs> but, 
She's a she, she's an actress. Yeah, she's an actress. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. She's okay. an actress. How how did you how did you guys meet? On the job. Oh. Say, Koko say I'm a church on Kofu on Sema. Church on Church on Kofu on Yeah. So you remember there was this. Uh, I think that that is where people remember her more. No, yes, we Kofu a girl. Yes, yes, yes. So, um, I knew her before, but I I got to know her more during that time when there was that issue, and I realized that. It was not true after all. When I met her, mm. she confided in me that, oh, I started somewhere and decided to play along, blah, 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 blah. So we started talking. I spoke to her about um, how she can rebrand and so that the brand of, I said, walk off be papa, and I should have this animal. So I, along the line, that was where everything started. And then, oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Wow. So basically, so, I mean, people have not noticed, but most of the stories that came, the first story that came, some would in Yemen. I know the mommy other brother, and Pacho, and Yemen. So it was after that that I tried to speak to her. I see who did here, you know, I'm pa. So she confined in me, and I became like her advisor. Or you be your friend, Charlie, yes, me, you will. Should I do it? Okay, so that was where it started. Okay, you know, yeah. so at the time that you, you called her, did you call her to verify I'm your brother's yes. story? Yes, because it was all over. And they were yeah. both playing along. I mean, they took pictures together. Yeah. They attend events together. So I was trying to inquire. And I don't know if my questions were too pushy for her that she, she had to confess that it was not true. And then somehow she told me that, actually, there's nothing true. true. There's no true truth in whatever you hear. It's just hype. It's just wow. um, out there for... It was her way of introducing herself into the industry. Mm. Yes. So it was after that, then I decided to take it up. So every story that came after the first story came from me, but nobody really paid attention. I see. Yeah. So when you're doing the stories and sort of like in her corner, I've got your back, baby. Uh, where you? <laughs> Come on, baby, I got your back. <laughs> yeah. When you had her back and you introduced the stories, was it that time that you also started thinking, well, if it's not true, dear, maybe I can step in. Uh-huh. And no, and no, and no, and no, ah. And the same woman cried, you don't find your hair. I mean, I'm very, I'm, he's a very good friend of mine. Yeah. For, for more than 10 years, yeah. I know him. So yeah. um, I spoke to him as well. When I spoke to her, she confided in me. And as for him, there, he was even surprised because not me and I imagine someone can't show me. I will be a secret between them. I mean, really? they play along in public until time. I will be a you know. All they do is say they have they have split. Really? So it was all an act. It was all a publicity stunt. I think Santana said it at my wedding, and it was all true. He said he, I think he, he did an interview with Miss G. It's on YouTube. It was all an act. I mean, from the counselor who thought coming in to come yes. and say, yeah, was, was counselor part of the act? Or he didn't um, not really, not really, not really. I'd be annoyed with him, but I'm not sure. Mm. I'm not sure. He was against the fact that uh, Victoria was a young girl. Yes. Now, I think the word he used was uh, energy drink. Kofu, energy drink. Yeah, yeah. Kofu yeah. Using her as an energy, yeah. energy drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And then no kind of sense. And then it's no kind of sense. No kind of sense. You know, things like that keeps the hype going. Yeah. When you bring it up. And people are yeah. talking about it. Yeah. Yes. So at the point I met her, she was tired of the, the controversy. Yeah. Because every man that comes in her life will go like, Yes, we did take a few And until now, it's one of the things that reminds people yes. of her. Yes. So when I met her, she was trying to rebrand, change that perception of her. But she couldn't have just come out and say it's, like, it's a lie. So she had to, I had to give her PR advice, mm. I had to show her how to go about it, blah, 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 blah. Until she finally came out to say, say um, mm. me papa, say on penny. And my name is So that's how come we ended wow. that whole thing. Yeah. Wow. So what would you expect, especially, in, at what point did you say from PR advice to uh, actual candidate yeah, for the office? Yeah, I hope we have a switch here. Um, in the middle somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think that um, I had a, a different perception about her before I met her. Mm -hmm. And then I saw her differently when I met her. So I started liking her. I started liking her from how people see her 
on the outside mm. from how I was seeing her. So I think it was, it was, it was not too long after I met her that I realized she was actually a very good person. Mm. She's mm. beautiful from how she's mm -hmm. seen out mm -hmm. there. And then people see her as uh, an opportunist, the gold digger, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Peshuga that is near there. It was all different. So wow. yes, that wow. was how come I fell in love with her, mm. her persona and everything. So I decided, and, um, I did, she didn't even know my mind. I mean, we were dating and everything, but the day I pop up the question, mm. she was surprised. Oh, really? Because it was not something that she was expecting. It was, did you pop up and say, I want us to start dating or pop up and say, young one? Oh, no, no. We, we were dating for some time before we got married. Okay. We actually, okay. this is the first time I'm seeing it. We actually dated for almost three years. Really? At the blind side of everybody. Wow. Nobody knew. Nobody had a hint. How did you manage that? Because you're a very well-known person. Yeah, yeah, I mean... She is. Yeah, she is. And you're able to yeah. hide the dating history for about three yeah, years? Yeah, nobody... I mean, I think people got to know where... We had something to do five days to our wedding. Five days? Yeah. And even that, it was a mistake on our part. <laughs> because, you know, before... What was the question? Let me answer the question first. That <laughs> how were you able to manage... Okay, how I was able to manage... I think that... That one there to keep it out of uh, you yeah. can you can decide to do it if you want to. Mm. You can mm. really decide to do it no matter how popular you are. Jay Z and Beyonce never said anywhere that they were going married. Mm. They were the ones who brought their wedding pictures. Nobody had it. Mm. You better say rumors. Hey, yes, you're more worried. And the Obama will confirm it. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Yes, how many people know about your private life? It's not like you don't want to say it to, but. So say you no know, one can. How many people know about much of this private life? Who know much of the more? Who know the Do you know that the Lumbers kids? Yeah. You understand? But we like his music. Yeah. So if you want it out there, it will be there. If you don't want it, it will be there. Of course. That's true. You understand? So mm -hmm. up to now, when I post her, I write actress Victoria Lebene. I don't write my wife. You understand? Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. the page is not my page for me to go and write my wife. Yeah. It is not me. It's okay. a news page. Mm -hmm. You don't mm -hmm. see Peace FM Online's page on Instagram writing my wife's birthday <laughs> because it's for despite. And it's right. despite my wife's right. birthday. Then you write my wife right. because you know. I want to separate my individual personality from the platform. Mm -hmm. So it's something that I, it was, it was not easy from her part. Because mm -hmm. she was a mad year. She was suspecting so baby shakona. And then yeah. why yeah. am I hiding her? But I was able to explain to her that yeah. I mean if you want this thing to go far, I think well, after this after this program there she has no more <laughs> <questions> you get. <laughs> if, if, because you see, sir perception and one and one. So in the bio see it here. Imagine the things that would have come out. True. You understand? True. Say, why would you even date this girl? Yes. Why you yes. there? You yes. understand? Yes. And yes. it was my decision to make. Whether I like her or I don't like her, mm -hmm. it was my decision to make. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. once I made that decision, I don't care about anybody's comments. I don't have to come and put it. I don't have to get any um, confirmation or I don't have to get any. Uh, mm -hmm. and say, get away your mouth and on your mouth. I'm a pair. So I decided yes. to do that and I convinced her to join me mm -hmm. and we did it. I mean, it was not easy. Mm -hmm. It was not easy. Mm -hmm. I didn't really hide it though, but anyone who we said, send me a work on. Nobody pays attention to me. <laughs> I've been around for almost over 15 years yes, in this industry. Yes, yes, yes. This is the first time I'm coming on your show. How, how long has your show run? 20 years, uh -huh. I think. So I if, you understand, so if, maybe if it's like been that. around for this quiet, this yeah, long, yeah. and this is the first time I'm coming, yeah. it means that I'm always in my corner. It's oh, friend, I'm a bar. Oh, I'm friend. And you know, me, me, I won't talk about my girlfriend. No, 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 no. no. When I come, who person will come with the amity? So it was a deliberate attempt mm. to keep it away from the public and then they will hear the news on Betty and we did it. Mm. I mean it was it took everybody by a storm mm. and every up to now people think it's the way to me. Oh and dear. So let's say you never buy every day. <laughs> I mean, even when I was on my way, I met somebody who was like, someone inviting me over there. <laughs> and we're almost getting to a year now. A year now. Do, 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 a year with that. We are catching the box of the support to me. So, I invite you. This is what happened. We, we, the wedding, we decided to do, um, maybe sure, yeah, invitation. We didn't do a hard copy invitation. Okay. Because it's evidence. We need invitation. We need a problem. So, I wanted us to do a guest list. It's a list. Nobody would do a guest list. But you know women and the families, 
The family didn't understand why we were going to marry without an invitation letter. Mm -hmm. How? How is that possible? So we decided to do a soft copy invitation. In the uh, WhatsApp, any email you invite you. Um, we, we, it was customized. But now we go so. KSM, you have been invited to blah, 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 blah. But the trick was that we didn't want anybody to ha still have an idea. It was me and her getting married. So she had a different venue on her invitation. Same date. And I had a different venue, same really? date on my invitation. Separate colors. Separate everything. So my best man didn't know the woman I was getting married on until the day of the marriage. Your best man didn't no. know? No. I still want to know who I was getting married. You know, we did the engagement in the morning. So the given pictures came earlier. So while we were dressing in the hotel room, he saw the pictures <laughs> on social media. I said, I say, it's a girl in every one now. Hey, Charlie, all of them didn't know. Her, her, her form is a bright, bright, uh, bright train was there. Bright, yeah. Uh, Bella party was there. Yeah, they, they didn't know. They didn't know. No, they didn't know. The MCs didn't know. Anybody working on it. I, uh, the planner got to know, I think, two weeks to the event. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So it was not easy. It was not easy. This is like a whole I told, you. I told my <laughs> dad, I think less than 40 days to my wedding. Because when he said, we're going to And I said, hey, you know, we're going to have to go. I'm going to have to go. I'm going to have to go. Yeah. Wow. It was not easy. But I had to do it because uh, when we say, marriage is very strong. Marriage is a very serious thing. And the moment you, you do it like that, I say, also I'm not a public figure that controversy is one of Now, I say, it will be very lucky. And we tried. This is the we tried. The invitation what? was what gave us out. Mm -hmm. So I think somebody had mine, and somebody else had, had hers. hers. They put one and two together, and they're like, mm -hmm. these people. <laughs> because you know we did it at the beach. So her, her venue was at Sandbox. Okay. So we had ushers there. And my venue was at uh, rehab. So we had ushers there who were going to say that, okay, the wedding is not here. Go this here. Is uh, so well, before you come, wow. the initial plan was to do it on her birthday. I have not said this anywhere as well. And then she was going to invite people to her birthday party. Over there, where? Where But on uh, not she can't. Because it's so a birthday, is a big thing for women. Yes. And yes. then putting yes. a wedding and wedding a birthday yeah, together. Wedding, yes, I know. Okay. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know Oh, <laughs> 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 my mom and my dad never really married so okay um my mom my mom has three boys and my dad has two boys. Okay. Both sides, I'm not here penny. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to be a woman. Yeah. Really? And interestingly, another fact, 
Victoria's family does not have a boy too. Um, yeah, yeah, ma. Ma. And I'm assuming I'm a mama. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. This calls for a movie script, man. And see, I'm not in Miyaba. I'm in Miyaba, ma. I'm not in Miyaba. I see. Yes. So she's like the only sister in my family. I'm mean, like the only brother in her in family. In her family? Yeah. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Look, I'm going to name one. But it, it tells you that we were meant to be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and just to wrap it all up now, so how has marriage been so far? Oh, mm. it's I, good. I, it, it's good, eh? Marriage is good. I fit I your mean, expectations in your hand. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, I think that people scare people with marriage too much. Maybe I mean, yes, I, yeah. Oh, let's say, but it, it's how you make it. Yeah. I think it's how you make it. Yeah. Before the marriage, the kind of advice I had, and even from my colleagues at work, Especially the way I went about it. You know, I told my bosses I was going to get married like two weeks to the wedding. Wow. And what got them really angry was the fact that I told them I was going to get married, but I didn't tell them the woman. You didn't tell them? No. Who? Yeah. I had to apologize to him for doing that. But again, it was my day. So I had to do it how I want it. Yeah. So um, all of them were like, Masa, how are you in the movie? No? <laughs> <laughs> you know, they didn't understand it. But yeah. me and Victoria Southern, we saw me and me tearful. See, I could feel, hey, Charlie, this thing there it looks like it's very scary. But we end up going like, no matter how it is, let's, let's make it fun. You understand? No matter how difficult it is. Let's make it fun. fun. Of course. That's beautiful. You understand? So mm -hmm. that's how come we decided to agree on doing this, hiding it, and all those, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Cause how many women will understand this? Be, Ask yourself. They be, they be, they be, you understand? Be, you know, Kwake had mm -hmm. a wedding and he went to play VGMA show at Vota Region on the night of the wedding. <laughs> and I, I, I meet women and I'm like, so if you work with Kwake's wife, what would I you do? Would, yeah, how do They're you like, me, like, hey, on my wedding day, why are you going? <laughs> no, 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 no. You understand? Yeah, so yeah. for a woman to defy her family, her family was not happy about the fact that there's no invitation. Because I'm wedding, I'm calling up one because to them a wedding has to be in a church yes i did it on a tuesday why would you do a wedding on a tuesday it'd be quite a young couple tuesday, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 tuesday yeah. Yeah. on a tuesday a weekday and you are not telling anybody what do you have to hide what is going on wow marriage wow. is a serious place you don't play with it you understand so i was actually very scared and entering it it's, it's not something you joke with, but I think that it's something you can also enjoy. Enjoy. So, mm. um, people should stop scaring people with marriage. It's good. Um, it makes you focus. It makes mm -hmm. you um, matured. It makes you not. Because I say, ah, you look bad. But me worry, I'm car. Me far from that. Charlie, what's up? Man, we have to be focused. We are back with the thing. One time for your mind. <laughs> So it makes you, and you see when, yeah. when you are doing, what we are doing, say, maybe still the family say beginner. When you are doing something like that, and you are not stable. I mean, you go here, you go here. Some of, mm. sometimes there's a bit of spirit in yet, or be be affected. Why wouldn't not have fun and all? But we say we be So I think marriage is very good, but um, we should make it lively. We should make it fun. Yeah. That is what we said to ourselves. I mean, even until now, we say to ourselves that I mean. Beyond all the problems, there's still fun in marriage. Yeah. When you yeah. cry, we laugh. Mm. So let's not make it like in our we are not quite well. We be in himself. You understand? We be in But let's have fun. fun. Yes. Let's enjoy it. That was that was the whole secret. That's Fantastic. that was how come we're able to go through it, or we are mm. still going through. So basically, our year is good. It's good. It's made me. It's made me stable. And then it tells you that I was not playing too much because ask yourself, Senka. Me, 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 said, said, me didn't cause it Come away, then, and Kagas, Baba, say, what dad, I mean, or so, but none of that. Yeah, my son. No, 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 because it was very big. I mean, I was surprised. Yeah. I've had photographers calling me, you yeah. gave my highest likes <laughs> on social media. <laughs> Someone was like, your video gave me the highest money on YouTube. Means wow. my, 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 my,
if all this thing happened and then nobody came out to say, say, and I use your dad, me, or so, but me, and I said, and all those things, you should know that, um, basically, we are stable, yeah. Oh, I like that. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, man. Finally, we've got to have this exchange. I was pregnant with words. I just delivered the words. And I'm happy. I I had me. I don't know the last time I did an interview like this. Really? Yeah, I had. I did interviews. Wow. Because me assure sir, so I interview we headlines a bit bit free, mono. And yes, I get to work. Some because I headlines bad bit free. So I keep it. I don't. I don't speak to a lot of. I have friends. Some in Chema do on an issue. Ah, fine. But some in they come and want some there. Okay. I don't do it. No. And why are they? Uh, oh, say care some day, Charlie. Eh? Oh, for I don't think I saw me more. Thank you, yeah, thank you. And reba, reba. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, thanks yeah. for the yeah. honor. Yeah. And yeah. once again, the congratulations. Thank you. Why are they? You're that's working that's very, very well. That's I, that's I think the best is yet to come. Yeah. Concerned, yeah. yeah. I see that becoming so big, sir. That's it. That's it. That's it. You can't even imagine. So keep it up, man. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. Coming from you, I'm humbled. My pleasure. One more time, JJ. And, and that's it, folks, man. I mean, this has been one of my most, I don't know the word, enchanting interviews, you know. And um, he will tell you, because he's in the show business, you know, sometimes you get interviewers and it's so difficult to talk to them. He's not one. He made it lively, and I, I really did enjoy this interview. Show some love for him one more time. <laughs> and uh, I'd like to thank all those who have been watching us and all those who are probably associated with this show. And until next week, we'll be back.